welcome to the English engineer. Today we are going to explain what is the present simple tense. In this class I'm going to show you when to use the simple present tense and how to use the present simple tense. When we know when to use it and how to use the present simple tense is easier to understand this kind of tense. We use this, we use this tense to express habits and routines. For example, we go to the bank on Tuesdays. General facts. Examples. The sun rises in the east. Repeated events and actions. Example. He always takes a train. Schedules. Examples. We have classes at 10 a.m. And permanent events. For example, she lives in New York. If, if you see those examples, you can understand how to use the present simple tense. Remember, we use these tense to express habits and routines, general facts, repeated events and actions, schedules and permanent events. Okay? Let's continue. Understand when to use this present simple tense. Now we have to understand how to use the present simple tense. The present simple tense, you can use it in affirmative, negative, and in questions. The first part, we use this verb to explain that situation. For example, we use the verb work. In the affirmative way, you can say, I work, you work, we work, they work, she works, he works, it works. Later, I'm going to explain why we have to put the S in the verb when we use the third person singular. Okay? So, I'm going to explain that later. But for now, that is the way that we have to use this kind of Tense in the affirmative way. The negative way, we can say, I do not work, or I don't work, you don't work, or you can say, you don't work, we do not work, or we don't work, they do not work, or they don't work, she does not work, he does not work, it does not work. Or you can say, she doesn't work, he doesn't work, it doesn't work. In the negative way, you can use the negative in this way and in this another way. Remember, don't work is the contraction of do not work. So if you can say, for example, I do not work or I don't work. If you say this uh, sentence in a negative way, in these two ways are good. Are it's good to say that sentence in that in the negative way in that in, in that kind of negative. So it's very so if you say I do not work, it's good. Or if you say I don't work, it's completely good. So you don't have any mistake if you say I don't work, I don't work, no. If you say I don't work, you use the correct way, the correct negative way in the simple present tense. The only thing that you use the short way to say that. And the Americans or the people or the native speakers in English they like to use this kind of form. They don't say, I do not work. The most common way that they express their negative ways is in this kind of form. In the contract, in the short, in this shortened way. So you always, or the common way that the native speakers, English natives, the English native speakers, they use the contraction form. So, understand this we are going to pass to the question part in the question part you use the verb do remember 
something that is very important in this kind of tense. The auxiliary verbs that you use in the present simple tense is the verb do. When you see a question, for example, if you see do I work, do you work, do we work, do they work, or for example, if we, if we can use another verb, for example, if you use do I play, do you play, do we play, do they play, this structure tells you that the sentence is in the, sim in the present simple tense. If we use the third person singular, you use does. Does she work? Does he work? Does it work? So always when you see a sentence that has this kind of structure in questions or in affirmative or negative way, you, you use the present simple tense. So it's, it's very important that you notice that because that is the way that you can that you can recognize what kind of tense you use when you read or when you speak something. If you understand this chart and you practice this chart, believe me, you don't have any problems or any issues when you apply this kind of tense. I'm going to encourage you to use this chart and for example, change the, the, the verb and use the verb. For example, if you want to use the verb seen, you can say in affirmative way, I seen, you seen, we seen, they seen. She sends, he sends, it sends. That is an example. So use this chart. The only thing that you need to change to practice is to change the verb and you practice the simple, the present simple tense with whatever verb that you want to practice, okay? So if we understand this, we are going to explain another situ another sense that is very important to, to take into account to understand better this kind of tense. Remember, that I told you that I'm going to explain what we have to use the S or what we have to add the S in the verbs when we use the third person singular. That is the thing that I'm going to explain right now. Okay, follow me. When we use a verb with the third person singular, we have to follow our rules because when we use a verb with this kind of subject, the verb we have to we have to add the s or es or es in the verb. But we have to follow these three rules that I'm going to mention it right now. When we have most of the verbs, we add s. For example, in this case, we have dance, we put the S, dances, cook, cooks, play, plays. The majority of the verb, we have to put the, the S at the end of the, the word and we can use this kind of word with the third person singular. All okay? The second rule is verbs ending in S, S, H, C, H, X, and O. We add E, S. For example, we use the verb mix. If we see that the last letter of this word is the letter X. So we have to put or add E, S. So the verb, now we pronounce this verb mixes mix mixes okay if you see the letter in color blue isn't it when we add that the, the es of the verb for example another verb wash watches if we can see the ending of this word e s h when we see that 
kind of letters in the end of this word we have to add es so the this verb say watches watch watches another verb kiss kisses kiss kisses okay so you have to pay attention the the ending of the verb if the verb ending in those kind of letters you have to add es okay so the third rule verb ending in consonant and y you have to drop the y and add ies ies for example the verb study you say studies the verb cry you say cries the bird fly, you say flies. If you see, you have to drop the, the, cons the consonant, verb that ending in consonant and Y, verbs ending in consonant and Y, you drop the Y and you add IES. The bird cry, you have a consonant and you have the Y. What you can do, you drop the Y and you add I E S cries and fly you see a con the ending of this word is a consonant and a Y and you what you can do you have to drop the Y and you add I E S and the bird pronounce fly. So it's very important to know these rules to understand and to say the correct pronunciation of the verb when we use the third person singular in present simple tense. I'm repeat again. Most of the verbs you have to add s. Verbs ending in s, s r, s h, c h, x and o at es and verbs ending in consonant and y you drop the y at at e i e s okay if you understand this believe me you don't have any problem or any issue with this kind of sentence and when you read something and you see those verbs in this Forms you can recognize what kind of verb you read. When you see those verbs in this kind of forms, you notice that the read or the sentence or the paragraph that you read is using the present simple tense. Okay? So I'm going to explain another thing that you have to pay that, that you excuse me that you take into account. To understand these kind of tense short answers with the present simple tense that is a situation that the English learners have some issues when the native speakers or someone that speak to them in English uh, when they speak or ask a question in a in present simple tense they don't and they don't answer in a proper way so this is the the short answer to when you see or you hear those kind of sentences or those kind of questions excuse me in this kind of tense for example if someone tells you do they need support in affirmative way you can say yes they do always you have to in affirmative way yes the subject pronoun they and the word and the verb do the auxiliary verb yes they do or in a negative way no they don't no they don't or you can say they no they do not but remember that is a short answer when you use a short answer you use a contraction because that is a short answer okay does she speak English yes she does 
Or, no, she doesn't. Do you like to swim? Yes, I do. No, I don't. For example, you create questions with this kind of structure in present simple tense and answer those questions that you create in affirmative and negative way in short answers and believe me you or understand this kind of tense. The present simple tense is, in my opinion, one of the easiest tense to learn. Um, the, the, all the tenses are easiest to learn. The situation is when we have to use those tenses in the same way. So when we, when we have to mix those, those tenses, I think that is, a, that is their issues that is the issue, excuse me, that the English learners have when we, when they, excuse me, have to use those kind of tenses. But in the English engineer, every month, we are going to explain two kind of tenses. In this month, we are going to explain the present simple tense. And the next, we are going to upload another class of this topic but that is a practice that we are going to show you that you can practice this kind of tense with the practices that we are going to show you in the next classes so this month we are going to explain the present simple tense and the present continuous of the continuous tense, the present continuous tense, or present progressive, that is another way of that tense. But that is another tense that we are going to explain in another class. So today, we are going to explain only the present simple tense. We are going to explain those tenses in an easy and simple way to be able that you, excuse me, that you be able to understand it well. Okay, if you have any question, any doubts, you are free to ask. Make your comments in the, or make your, your, your comments, yes, in the comment section below of this video. It's very important that you do that because that is a, that help us to know if you need more help if you uh, need another classes to understand this kind of tense because that is another that is uh, our way to know if you understand those classes okay so guys that's everything for today the next class we are going to upload the practice of the present simple tense and at the end of this month, we are going to explain the another tense that is the present continuous tense. So I hope that you understand this tense. If you do not understand something, don't be afraid to ask. Write down in the comments below your dogs, your your issues that you don't do not understand of this kind of tense. So thank you guys for watching us and don't forget to subscribe. Give us thumbs up because that if you do that help us and support us to know to make more videos to help you in the process of learning of this language. So thank you guys and see you then next class. Bye.